Finally, the beginning of our room series. Hello everyone, today I'm going to guide you through how I decided on how I want to do my room everything in detail so for the room i have planned a five episode series where i'll show you everything from the home decor hall to how i painted my room to how i did this on a very very small budget and finally the room reveal for the first episode i'll share the entire story of how this room came together piece by piece when we moved in the first thing we worked on was the furniture so the first big decision that i made was to not own a bed now my room is pretty decently sized so if i wanted i could have had a bed but i wanted to keep everything pretty movable which is why i decided to sleep on the floor only i have three single beds stacked upon each other and that's what i sleep on so in the daytime i move it to make it like a floor sofa and in the night time i move it in a different angle which becomes my bed so the only piece of furniture in my room was my one single wardrobe but the wardrobe that i got made is very unique this was my mother's idea ki combine a dressing table also in the wardrobe na the wardrobe has this much extra space which has become my dressing table and the door over opens outwards and because i had not decided what color i wanted my room to be i chose the color white for my cupboard because white goes with everything now my room had one cupboard and everything else was blank all the walls were plain white this is how the builder had given the home to us for one good month i was in the pure state of confusion because the room looked very pretty wooden flooring bhi diya hai so white walls with a wooden flooring and a white cupboard looked perfect and i was very very afraid that i'm going to ruin the room if i put something and i don't like it i'll have to do so many changes that is when a lot of my friends came with assurance that if you paint it and you don't like it you can get it repainted this is when pinterest became my best friend even when my board exams were going on i would spend like 3 hours on pinterest every single day trying to decide what i want my room to look like now the two themes that i was confused between were plain white and very very cozy or colorful which would help me shoot videos as well i was leaning more towards the plain white because of my fear of ruining my room so i had to do very less amount of things and room kharab hone ka chances kam tha but then i did go for the bold decision that no i don't have to be afraid let's go for the colorful room now i know ki vision board ka technique is very common but i am a lazy potato so i was not going to print the pictures and cut them and then stick them to see what my room would look like i did everything just on the basis of my imagination so i picked up a lot of different pictures from pinterest i think around 10 pictures and i picked up one one element from each picture to put in my room so the first step i decided to work on was on painting my room now the way i wanted it to be painted was very very different from the regular one color on the wall so i was very hesitant ki agar maine workers ko bulaya and if they don't quite understand what i want because where i live it's a very common culture that even though the workers do not understand what you want they'll say that ha ha humko pata chal gaya aapko kya chahiye and then what they end up giving you is very very different i did not want to risk that plus we had no budget even though we've moved to a new home it's actually on a home loan so most of our income is going in settling that home loan i had a very very small budget which is going to be a separate episode on how to do everything on a budget the big decision i made was to paint the room by myself also this was the first room i was ever painting so that was another risk it's like operating your first patient I watched at least 10 videos on YouTube on how to paint the room yourself. Mr. Kate was a big inspiration. They're the gods of interior designing. I bought all the materials, and painting the room took me two full days. Once the painting was done, putting together the rest of the room was much easier because I've added a lot of different colors to my room. I knew that furniture was just minimal. He kept it. The next step I moved on to was adding the accents to the wall. Now accents are little small home decor pieces or like shelves that you add to the room to give it more character. Spray paint has been a huge savior for me and that way whatever piece i liked it did not have the restriction ki oh it has to be white color it has to be this particular color i would just end up spray painting it to whatever color i wanted so i added one quirky piece to one wall which made me decide that the other wall should be plain because if i'm going to add things on every wall it'll be too much 3d coming in from everywhere in the room and it'll make the room smaller so because i have added something on that wall the wall that you see behind me is plain i didn't add any shelves any photo frames nothing on that wall it's just the paint that speaks for it i really wanted the white frames ka collage somewhere in my room par mujhe sooj hi nahi raha tha kaha dalu maine frames bhi order karke rakh diye the but because i couldn't find a place i had planned on returning them but then i put it on the remaining wall that i have and it looks very very pretty the frames are not very big which helped me make a 12 frame ka collage and that's it for that wall wo wall pe aur kuch nahi hai this way i got the best of both my ideas keeping it very minimal 
and cozy yet keeping it colorful coming to the floor accent furniture i have kept everything movable the only thing that i had planned to keep in my room was this big white ladder that you have seen in my previous videos this is a very versatile piece because number 1 color white number 2 very very simple structure so it will look great against any wall be it a dark wall light wall plain wall but then what happened was impulsive shopping which is what our channel has a lot of i visited a lot of exhibitions and a lot of malls and there were so many pieces which i ended up loving a very good example are the plants that you see behind i was just browsing through the mall and i actually saw them in the hands of another customer just walking around the mall and i loved them so much ki i went up to them and i asked them ki uncle apne kahan se liya because they're moving i keep changing their position in the room similarly i have this white bottle shaped structure which has three shelves in it which you have also seen in my very first video where you see the room even that i found at an exhibition and when i saw it i loved it and i thought ki ye rakhti hu ladder cancel kar deti hu but then the ladder was not cancelable so i thought ki i'll let the ladder come if i don't like it i'll return it but thankfully both the pieces fit because they are movable so this is a one big tip from me keep everything movable so that you can not only change it from wall to wall but also from room to room ki agar ye room mein utna maza nahi aa raha to koi aur room mein shift kar sakta hai hall mein shift kar sakta hai so bhi shelf khali to nahi rakh sakte jo bhi maine bottle wala shape liya tha ladder liya tha so i decided to add a lot of greenery but at the same time i knew that i don't want to take the responsibility for a living organism added up to fake plants fake flowers everywhere in the room i kept building upon the collection very slowly and steadily some pieces are from the old home too my last tip to you would be make use of your usb now my room has a huge height now because i have this extra height i have added a lot of things to the ceiling so if your room is longer add things on the edges you can also paint vertical stripes on your wall to make your room taller as well so adding things on the ceiling highlights how tall the room is and have little hanging plants from the ceiling so it looks aesthetic but it's not taking up space in my room lastly this time i own a master bedroom which has a bathroom too on one wall i've added three little cube shelves and in that i've put fake plants and behind the fake flowers i've hidden a scented air pocket it gives the illusion ki the fake flowers have scent in them when people go and sniff it i feel good about it ki oh wow this is working so to summarize on how to do your room number 1 do not be afraid to ruin it because you cannot ruin it everything can be fixed number 2 the internet is your best friend in my case it was pinterest but you can definitely just google things out or use instagram for inspiration number 3 Order a lot of different things because in real life things look different, and when you keep them against a wall, they look different. But make sure when you're ordering that the return option is available, so that in case it does not look nice, you can easily return it. Number four, keep spray paint handy. Don't let the colors restrict you. Number five, keep a lot of movable things in your room so that you can keep changing the aesthetic. And number six, do not clutter it a lot. Stick to your theme so that it becomes very cozy and comfortable yet homogeneous. But before we hang up, I have to announce final details of the garage. sale as a part of moving into the new home i really wanted to keep only those things which i'm using on a daily basis which has ended up in a lot of over a thousand things which i'd like to sell to you at very minimum prices this is going to happen on the 23rd of may which is a thursday from 12 pm to 7 pm at b kitchen and bar in juhu this is actually kishor kumar's bungalow which has been turned into this amazing place it's very aesthetic it's very beautiful and it is a meet and greet because even if you don't want to shop please just come and have fun with me i want to need you the entry for this is absolutely free you don't have to pay anything and you don't even have to register anymore the registrations were just to analyze what amount of space we need so no registrations no entry fees just come and have some fun so this is my pinterest room 101 and i'll see you this wednesday until then goodbye